Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Word for Today. This is Reverend, I'm Reverend Bradford Hole. I'm glad to have you on the broadcast this morning. Today is October 22nd, Monday. And uh, the Word for Today comes from uh, 1 Timothy 2.1. And it says that there should be uh, intercessions, petitions, and prayers given for all men and for those in authority. Hi, Robert. Good to see you on the broadcast. Hi, Yvonne. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. Uh, and for all those in authority. So what we need to understand is that it is our responsibility to pray for those that are in spiritual leadership. Hi, Gordon. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. It is our responsibility to pray for those. Uh, hi, Robert. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. It is our responsibility to pray for those that are in spiritual authority and in governmental authority. So yes, whether you, whether you love them, you hate them, whatever, we have a responsibility to pray for our president. Hi, Rizat. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. We have a responsibility to pray for our president, pray for our senators and congressmen, pray for our, our governor, pray for our state representatives, um, pray for um, our police and our fire. Really, everybody who is in authority, we need to pray that righteousness would prevail at that level of government. We have a benefit of representative government here in the United States. Not everybody does, of course. Overseas, they're all different types of governments. But here, we need to pray, and then we need to vote as the Lord instructs us to vote. Hi, Gerald. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. Hi, Brother Larry. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. We need to exercise our right, especially for those. Hey, hi, uh, Sunil. Uh, good to see you on the broadcast this morning. Uh, we need to exercise the, the right that we have uh, in whatever country you live in. Uh, we need to pray first, but then if we have opportunities to vote or to run for office. Some of you, maybe God is calling you to run for an office. So you can be your representative of Jesus Christ in whatever office that, that you're serving in. So I just want to take a moment and uh, let's, as a group, go ahead and pray for our spiritual leaders and for those in authority. Good morning, Lord. Father, we, we know that the Word of God says that we have a responsibility to, to make prayers, intercessions uh, for those, for everyone, but especially those who are in authority over us. So, Lord, we lift up before you as we live in the United Those of you who live in the United States, we lift up our president before you. We pray that righteousness would prevail in the Oval Executive Offices. We pray for our congressmen and our senators that, again, um, as we approach the midterm elections, that righteousness would prevail and that godly and wonderful and righteous people would be elected to office, Lord, for the government, for the go race for governor, for the, um, the, the, the state uh, representatives, Lord. We just pray for, for righteousness to prevail there. We also pray for the judicial branch. We pray for um, all of the Supreme Court justices and appellate court justices, Lord. And God, I just pray for those countries where maybe they don't have a voice, but they can pray. And I pray that righteousness would prevail in each of those countries, Lord. We pray for India. We pray for Pakistan. We pray for um, throughout the world, God. We pray that the gospel would go forth and lives would be changed. We pray this in Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen. So glad to have you on the broadcast. In a moment, we're going to have Christian News Perspectives, so stick around. God bless you. Bye-bye.